Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Game of Thrones, I suppose. Oh, wow, Winter is here. <laughs> Lord of Ice Bay Show. Well, there's the White Walker of the Winter. He's 5,000 men and he has taken uh, the Frozen Shore and Ice Bay Show, as well as the Central Frost Fangs. And Vice Tree. The, the people beyond the wall are being pushed back hard. And they're still at war with the Knights Watch. Free folk invasion of the wall. Oh, he's just fighting the wall now. Uh, but the wall is probably going to win. It's not that many. He's a formidable fighter. Oh yeah, I was captured by Greyjoy. The feast is winding down and now only the bedding remains. Lairons and Lyra are stripped of all garments by the re revelers who make many a bawdy joke along the way. They are then finally bundled into their bedchamber where they are finally left that's a lot of finalies. Where they are finally left alone. Lyrons and Lyra shall be bedded. A nice tradition. Uh, I haven't really looked at the trades. The morning after the wedding feast has come and all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home. All agree it was a fine celebration and many predict the newly beds shall be most content. I had great fun and so did everyone else. Hell the wedding will be for one year. Remain. Everyone likes me a little bit more and everyone leaves the wedding. Uh, so, yeah, there's, uh, <laughs> the council actually has very little power, so, uh, diplomacy, the ruler has full authority over the bloke actions. Oh, okay, I see, they just bundled everything together. Uh, but, yeah, the council is actually really weak right now, uh, they, they're barely empowered. Um, justice, yeah, it's just combined, it's, it's nice. Um, yeah, the council in the north is also very rather weak. We, of course, don't actually have, like, any laws, like, the first knight or controlled realm inheritance. Pressing the controlled realm inheritance law will protect hells within the realm from being inherited by characters loyal to another liege. Illegal vessel title inheritance regulated to disallow the title to pass to another realm. Huh. Slavery, of course, is, uh... <laughs> is abolished. There's like, it's technically illegal, but some indentured servants are slaves in all but name. Uh, then of course we have full slavery and thraldom. Huh. Uh, Ram authority is medium at the moment, which is fine. No obligations, no power. Let's continue. So, the Ironborn were just utterly destroyed by the king in the north. We are still very much um, a prisoner of the Iron Isles. I'm surprised I actually did survive this. Well, that's a lot of troops. That's, wow, 3,700. Oh, well, I suppose Rob just died. How did Rob die? was beheaded on the Earl of King Jeffrey. Oh, he was taken captive, I suppose. And he just murdered him. All hail his grace, Brandon of the host Stark, the twelfth of his name, King in the North, King of the Winter, and the First Man, Lord of Winterfell, and Protector of the Realm. Uh, the King in the North, uh, the King in the North. Uh, that's a little bit of money, that's good. So, it seems like we're losing... Uh, my lady, your daughter Lyon, is responding very well to my tuition. She has improved her skills and is advancing in knowledge every day. Okay, so she got to, um... Intrigue, that's pretty nice. Yeah, there's like a huge army of the Reach just marching around and destroying us. Even though we still have a very large army existing and, yeah... <laughs> the Iron Isles just, they didn't do so well. Uh, we have like a little bit of a peasant revolt going on. Yeah, you're fabricating a claim, alright. Uh, the White Walker of Winter, so... The Night's Watch won against the King, uh, the Free Folk Invasion. And now, others Invasion of Beyond the Wall. The White Walkers are just crushing the Free Folk right now. Iron King Balin has passed on, joining the Drowned God in his watery holes below the sea. 
Bactarian Greyjoy holds the throne for now, but laws dictate a new king must be chosen by the way of King's Mood, as the Ironborn did in the old ways. All lords and captains of the Iron Isles shall converge two months hence, and shall ele select a new king to rule over them. I cannot participate. So, we have King Victorian of the Iron Isles now. Uh, how did his father die? He just died in... no, it's uh, his brother actually. He was killed in personal combat by Lord Howland of the Neck. My husband? No. Someone's husband. Oh, my friend! My friend has murdered him. A raven has arrived from the citadel. We should prepare as winter is coming. Well, didn't really need a... <laughs> didn't really need a message from the citadel to know that. Uh, it's... As is the north. <laughs> Can't send an insult because my council is going to see that as an act of tyranny. Um, Lord Roos of the Leech Lord. Oh, of House Bolton. Maid, my lady, I write to you with shocking news. Lord Roos Bolton tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kill Master Ricken of Fleischer's Keep. Uh, expose him immediately. Yeah, we don't trust. We don't like the Boltons. No one likes the Boltons, especially not this one. It's a lunatic. Let's have the Boltons die. My lady, we have heard word from the Iron Isles that the Ironborn have held a king's mood just like the new ruler. Tyrion Greyjoy apparently emerged as a clear winner, with many lords and great warriors flocking to his cause. The drowned men have therefore crowned him as the new Iron King. Yeah, he still has like no troops whatsoever. Because he lost everything. Oh, she, she has the gray scales. No, that's just a pox. Okay, I thought she had the gray scales. Apparently not. So we're currently losing, like, the war. <laughs> Your leash's council is discontent. There's a lot of people on his council. The regency has ended. Oh. Your lady. Make us decide to be merciful and you are safe from the wreck. However, before you release, you are to be drenched in the tar and rolled in feathers. You will then be put on a cart and wheeled through the streets. The guards asking you to your sentence snickers delightedly, delightedly at your predicament. I do not deserve such humiliation. I could be stressed or lose my proud trade. I got stressed. Yeah, I'm gonna die soon, So, I'm, but I'm free again. So, of course, we are going to win against the Iron Isles. But we are currently losing against the Iron Throne because he's just moving his armies north and not fighting the Reach that has been conquering the land down here. Um, command of my leech's armies should be reserved for those of high status and that the likes of Yoron enjoys this privilege while I do not is surely an insult. Um, I will petition King Brandon to give me a command. Uh, I hereby yes. Thank you, I'm now a commander. Uh, also... Oh, I have, I have a different... I want to build a war chest now, I suppose. Uh, 300 for a ruling... Okay, 300 gold, that's a pretty large... Uh, number of gold. Aegon Targaryen invades. Wait, what? Wait, what? Lord Aegon of Dyrdan. What? Aegon Targaryen of Essos? What? Why is he of asses? And what? I'm so confused. Isn't this? A young silver-haired man has landed in Westeros claiming to be the Aegon the sixth true-born son of Rhaegar Targaryen and rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms. It is widely believed that he perished in the Red Keep at the hands of Gregor Clegane during the War of the Usurper along with his sister Rhaenys and mother Elia of Dawn. It is purported that it was not Aegon who perished there, but some peasant baby who was put in Aegon's place. Now it is claimant Lance and he has the Golden Company at his back. Uh, well, the thing is, this is not, this is not, Aegon. This is not actually the Aegon, because where the hell is his sister? Why is he of the House of Asses? Should be Targaryen. Uh, so this this guy is not. Also, the Iron. Uh, the Golden Company, I think, has 20,000 troops, not 10,000. Uh, yeah, but Aegon is dead. He's, he's no one. Forgot even... Oh, he landed up here. Adam, my guidance. My young daughter, Leanne, is lovely... 
Mastering the arts of swordsmanship. She's a trained fighter now. Very good. Uh, she needs a new... She's definitely going to get a martial education. Every ruler needs to go out and meet the peasants in person from time to time, just to make sure that they are now who still exist if nothing else. As you visit the locals of Bear Islands, you speak very frankly about what you think of them. Something they took great offense in, it seems. You look back to ensure that your guards are there to keep you out of harm's way, only to notice that they have all gone into the local tavern. Before you know it, the peasants begin to throw things at you. Uh, maybe I can just outrun them? I could run to Maester Harmond and hide that. Run for safety at the nearby residence of Master Harmond and hope that he will help. Uh, I could also just straight up get severely maimed or wounded. Uh, I'm gonna ask Master Mammond if... Oh, okay. As you get closer, you can see Master Mammond Harmond standing in the doorway waving at you. You hurry towards him and once inside, Harmond quickly closes the door. Safe at last! Who would ever have thought the peasants could be so easily insulted? Thank you, I owe you one. Okay, well, apparently I owe him now. What quality of education would you like to purchase for your daughter, Lyanne Mormont? Oh, actually, I just want the best for her. So I'm definitely going to take a, uh, a loan from the Iron Bank. Uh, I will spend highly to get Lyanne at the best equipment possible. A child's learning is a primary attribute that affects her. Oh, wow, just the very essential is even minus two. Yeah, but we're gonna spend everything we have on this. Thanks to your leading uh, leadership during the Battle of River Run, your experience in... What? Oh, right here. Oh, we still lost, but... I'm gonna be a heavy infantry leader. But I think we're about to lose the war. Like, our forces are being utterly destroyed here. Yeah, we just lost. Okay. So what actually happened? So, Lord Paramount Brandon III is currently ruling. So, I suppose Rickon... No, what? It was not Brandon III, he was like the 7th or something. Theoden has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of Bear Island. It would be seen as the right and honorable cause to reward him with certain incomes and grants, so as to foster greater loyalty. I owe him nothing. Agreed, I shall arrange his reward. I will bow a noble title upon him. Theoden is given a new house name at a count of arms. He deserves a marriage with a fine lady. My daughter, who's for some reason not married. Oh, is it because I didn't actually do the marriage? Yeah, I suppose that could be. Uh, I'm gonna bestow a noble title upon his face and have my daughter marry someone. Kingswood is pretty nice, but no, I need you to marry someone with lineal. Uh, of course, only, only, uh, no one of importance. But how about we get this guy, Kalma Frey of the Riverman, because that seems pretty good to have a Riverman, you know, in our family. If I have no idea what the hell happened over here. And now we are fighting in a rebellion. Peasant revolt for Darn Forest. No. What is this? Uh, King Joffrey and Lord Aegons of Diadons. Oh, they are all helping Aegon. Extort subjects. What? Extorting a chapter 6 is a great way of quickly raising your funds for your war chest. Beware though. For this action will be seen as tyrannical by your subjects. The mental health of rulers who care for their subjects may take damage from this action. Uh, let's not do that. My leisure's council is con discontent. Okay. I have no idea what's going on in the north. Uh, we are not at war with Joffrey at the moment. We're, we're also not his vassal right now. He's also an adult. Vil is embroiled in a deep argument with one of his rivals about who's the legal heir to a small plot of land. This has a risk to turn into a feud in my demands, so I have to make a judgement. Uh, the land belongs to the crown. Absolutely belongs to the crown. It is only reasonable. Let's uh, repay our debts. Can't do that at the moment. You want me to become... 
Nothing, apparently. A commander? Why am I not a commander already? Well, I'm also stressed and pretty much dead. Uh, there's a lot of people just... Uh, like joining Aegon, it seems like, especially in the north. Um, young Kalmar often... Who the hell is this? Often speaks in reference of the wise man of old, saying he wants to be like them. Um, an erudite, yes. What a lovely child, I don't even know who you are. You are a fray. Holy hell do you have a lot of children. Uh, siblings. Spiders? No, no, you need to be brave. Fear is a killer of mind. Uh, so, can I actually, like, join Aegon? Oh, I totally can. Decide upon civil war sites. King Joffrey, you will be presented with the option to either support your liege, King Joffrey, or, if allowed, join Aegon of Asses in their civil war. Yeah, but why would I join Aegon? He just literally lost the war. Uh, so, also, I don't like Aegon. Definitely not going to join him. Uh, I could plot to kidnap my leash. Yeah, he's not actually... He's crippled, of course. So this is Green Dreams and uh, the Direwolf. And he's like... I don't actually know what's going on. Uh, yep. It's turning colder and colder. The people of Berlin can no longer folk the fields. Yeah, that was to be expected. Yeah, everyone is just joining Aegon right now. Which is a stupid idea because, yeah. Oh, wow, what? But Brandon has usurped the title of Lodge of Castle Servant from Clay Servant. Uh, that's this right here. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright. Iron Throne. It's back in power. But some of these northerners are still fighting against... Oh, they're... Wait, what? Are you fighting against all of these people in the north for their... <laughs> they're all trying to be independent. But they're not gonna have that happen because even the north is now rising up against them. Sadly, I still can't wage my own wars against them because I just don't have a claim. It's very sad. It's very sad indeed. No, fear is still a killer of the mind. Surprised I'm still alive. My husband has died. Um, your husband, Lord Donald Bowl, has died, and now it falls to you to decide whether to make the funeral big and a special event or just keep it small and a private one. Um, my husband, of course, deserves to be honored with the funeral. Um, I hold the court of Burr Island. Uh, vassals. Um, all the lords and ladies of the realm are invited. Wow! The whole realm! No, um, how about we just have the Bowl family? Don't actually have that much money to spend. The guests will arrive soon. Best get on with it. No, I, I don't, <laughs> don't want another stupid feast. I don't have the money for this. My lady, King Joffrey the Lannister, seems fit to name Ty Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion? What? My lord, King Joffrey Lannister of the Iron Throne has seen fit to name Tyrion Lannister, Lord Paramount of the Trident. He and his son and grandson shall hold and enjoy this honor until the end of time, and all lords of the Trident shall pay him homage, homage to uh, as the rightful liege. How interesting. So you are now Lord Paramount Tyrion of the Trident. That is very interesting. So the re no the Riverlands have been taken over, and now we have Tyrion the Imp ruling this. It's ugly apparently. I'd hmm. All of the guests have arrived at Bear Island, and this yes okay. It's a Jara moment. There he is. It's a fucking. It's a Jara moment. He has a. Uh, He's come back home, even though he should be expelled. Is this, uh... Is this Jorah moment? No. There he is. It's my nephew. He is a knight, but he actually should be expelled. Oh, he is my... Mm, I see. 
Yeah, he's. It's like uh. Does have a lead claim on the the knight's botch apparently, and he's also. Lee, and the Valentist. Accident news: a special type. The funeral. Three days have gone by since Donald has passed away, and the body was cleaned, prepared for the burial, and dropped in a shroud and laid at the base of the weirwood tree. Kith and close kin of the dead arrived to mourn, with each placing offerings for the dead about the body. As darkness draws in, the gathered party makes their way to the godswood. As the eldest kinsman, hooded and cloaked in heavy linen, proceeds forwards and enters carrying, carrying the runic weirwood staff. Everyone presents a present. Sets their eyes downcast, fearful of glimpsing the staff. The staff is put to the body to measure. Then the kinswoman, a kinsman, whispers to the body before departing. Uh, as soon as the ritual is concluded, the closest to the dead gather up the body and carry it to the grave, where they offer their final farewells. And so it is done. Donald died, bedridden and firm. He was a man and was knight of the highest honor. He was merely a competent swordsman and not a warrior. Song written. Of hold a uh, funeral. Oh, I've written off him, I suppose. Uh, Lady Mirsch moment leaves. Yeah. Uh, what is going on over here? They like have a civil war or something? There's a lot of troops again. Oh, okay. Just uh, had to press. We yeah, had the wrong rap mode. So far, so good. I'm really surprised I'm still alive. Okay, it's a new commander of the wall again. Lord Commander Bowen of the Night's Watch. Why are you all dying so quickly? Oh, you're just straight up white. Dude, the, the, <laughs> the winter is actually coming. The White Walkers are just crossing the, br the wall right now as we speak. My young son in law has finished his education in military strategy and command. It turned out less than well less well than expected. Oh jeez. Uh no. I do need a high general or a chief general. Which is going to train my troops. So I still have a problem, which is I can't actually declare war on anyone because I still don't have a claim. And we have like a bajillion wars going on right now. Uh, but it seems like Joffrey actually uh, managed to hold his throne right now. Seven kingdoms. The stack and the lion, because he's of, of course. He should be of House Baratheon, but he's of the House of Lannister. Openly, even, which is weird. Uh, we're gonna adopt his ideas. So we have another Lannister over here. And of course another Lannister over here. It's, a, it's very scary. It's a lot of the Lannisters just chilling everywhere. Um, Lord Paramount Mace. If we had Mace and Dawn on our side, then we could probably just go ahead and crush the Iron Throne. But it's going to be tough, especially because the North is so divided right now. I'm just chilling back here on Bear Island. I can't actually build anything too. Basic defensive private farms. A tiny slave pit. That's a lot of troops. Proofed castle. It's not built, so it's actually what? Uh, the life of is simply and will be wait, what? Don't understand what's going on. So, uh, Lyanna says these peasants we have are all mine to command like little slaves, right? Uh, absolutely not. You're being put under curfew. Uh, she's proud now. Okay, young lady is showing tendencies to be more of a doer than a thinker. Yes, that'd be a kind of way to describe it. Sure, I could have her being dull. Which is not good. I should teach, uh, yeah, definitely focus making her brave. She's very selfish. She is brave and not dull, which is good. Uh, Lord Paramount... Like you back on, isn't it? Yeah, no, he has a lot of legitimacy. 
He's he's very legitimate. Could kidnap him. Could also kill him. No, he's very illegitimate. Dissolve our alliance. I don't think we have an alliance. Plotted to incite a revolt. Wants to see Brandon Stark at war with King Joffrey. Uh, okay. Let's try to kidnap him. I want uh, his items. <laughs> the crown of winter and the engines of war. It's definitely going to work out. Do have a lot of support actually. Uh, yeah, we could have Nat over here, but I don't really want to spend gold on anyone. So Winter has just conquered Eastwatch, which is basically um, really good. So we have Brandon's gift and then the new gift, which is more land for the watch. Lady Mage, I've listening to the advice of a group of my bannermen, led by Lord Veonga over the town of Overton. I hereby enact a series of laws empowering my council to act and vote on matters pertaining the governance of the High Lordship of the Dreadfort. Uh, all right then. No idea what you told me. So you have of course Moment Keep, which makes sense because we are of the House of Moment. Uh, okay, we are once again in a war. Okay, so to my lady, lady. <laughs> my lady lady make I write this letter to inform you of the great threat Lord Paramount Brandon III is not the child of Lord Paramount added at all but the product of adultery on the part of his mother and another man I urge all good lords of the realm to take, t take arms against this deception uh, absolutely not like the claim that Brandon's father was away at the time of the conception but this is an obvious fabrication all lies of course we're going to join on his side and see maybe he get something out of it uh, can I do that? After to join war? I can indeed. I could also declare war. Just dispose of my leash. No, but I want to join the war. Because we don't like... We don't like rebels over here. Let's have the bear troops march. Of course, I'm going to lead them personally, so... This guy of Torrance Square, he's trying to overthrow our rightful liege, which is totally unacceptable. We won't have any of that. The North does have a lot of troops. Fabricate a claim on the high lord of Stony Shore. No idea where Stony Shore is. He does have a lot of lordships. Maybe he's going to give me one of those. Uh, I decline. Can I plot? I'm still trying to plot to get him to have him rest. Uh, plot, uh, you know what I mean. Could try to plot to on the Kingdom of the North. I'm still trying to, uh, yeah, have him be taken captive, but... Conditions are worsening in Bear Island. Yeah, we now have a normal winter. It's like, really bad stuff, I suppose. Uh, I don't still want that. We would like you to back off a bit. No, no. I'm gonna try to eliminate this army. I'm just gonna go ahead and murder them. Can praise like a weak claim on the crossing, but uh, it seems that Ramsey Carstark, the spy master of Lord Meldrick of Deep Down, has sent been sent to Deep Down to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe we should be silent before he finds out about my plot to kidnap Lord Paramount Brandon Stark. So this guy is of the House of Carstark, which is on the other island. I knew the Carstarks were on some island. Uh, let's try to have him silence before he figures out my plot. Uh, the North has a small army with us. Wow, why did we just lose so hard? Okay, we just were crushed. Like, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> no idea what is going on in this, uh... I, I've made friend with Lord Benjincourt of Icon Grove. There's no idea where that is. I lost, like, a bunch of troops here. So let's just teach down Blackpool. My lady, his grace King Joffrey has taken his last breath. Oh wow, that was quick. May he rest in peace. He was killed, of course, with, in the, at the age of 19. He was a tyrant. Tyranny decays at a rate of 5 every 5 years. Uh, Widow's Vale. Oh yeah, of course. Widow's Vale is a new Valyrian steel sword. We fought from the old blade 
of ice and the orders of Tau and Valenster. It has red and black ripples through the steel and is Scabatus carefully decorated with gold, sherry wood, red leather and golden lion hats with ruby eyes. And now Tommen has it. Long with the king. All hell is grace, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, invited to, yes, of course I will attend. I've decided to convert. Who are you? Okay, I don't know who you are. You are of House of Royce. You are a Vale man. You've decided to convert to my faith. That's pretty nice. You are the House of Royce. That sounds very familiar. Uh, this guy also just converted, apparently. He's. Uh... Oh no, you actually meant it. You, I guess you'd converted him uh, or something. I don't actually know what happened. So the North has very few troops right now. Because everyone dislikes good old King Brandon. He's not even the king, he's Lord Paramount. The funeral, yes. As silence is... Oh, it's different, but... Jesus Christ, there's so much to read. As the silence is has finished the preparations of the deceased, the body of King Joffrey is brought to the local sept and laid atop the, the altar of his center. Canopic jars of honored design are placed at the feet of the dead, the dead, and the eldest child places the daft stones upon the closed eyes of the deceased. One by one, those closest to the departed in life make their way into the sept and speak their goodbyes, shed their mournful tears, and pray to the seven for the dead. As the day winds down and the last goodbye is said, the body is carried by kin alone along the crowd-lined streets to its final resting place. As the sun fades away, the great feast is held. And those who knew the dead recount stories of the life and the deeds of the lost. So it is done. He was a man. That's that's a pretty good observation there. <laughs> King Geoffrey Lannister died under suspicious circumstances on 25th, yeah, 21, 21st, for God, Jesus Christ, June something something at age 19. He was a man who was known to have dark moods, as well as being most fair to look upon. It sounds like a haiku, you know, those weird Japanese poetry things. Joffrey wielded the Valyrian steel sword Vidal's Vale, a longsword forged on orders of Tywin Lannister from the Blade Eyes. Alright. Oh hell, what's this? Lyanna is very rude to people at your court. I do like this, uh, drawing. Ah, oh, those Lannister kids. Those are Lannisters. She looks very Sandra. <laughs> you could gain straight rude. Uh, you are Lyanne Mormont. Yeah, you could. You are rude, and you are totally rude. I mean, you're also very strong. Like I, one of my favorite characters, which didn't. She had like nothing to do in the last season, did she? Can't even remember if she showed up. Uh, the King of the Iron Throne. Uh, in the name of the Father, I, Tommen House Lannister, the first of his name. Today, King Tommen was crowned by his holiness the High Septon and formally received the title of King of the Endals. Yes, okay, so he's now the King of the Endals again, which... Surprise, surprise. He has Robert's Warhammer. He's Aegon's crown. He has Aenus' crown. He has Aegon's crown. He has Marcus' crown. He has the crown of majesty. He has a fuck ton of crowns in his possession. It's the cr he has the fucking crown of winter? He has a... he has really... he has a lot of crowns. How is Aegon's crown not the... Not the most powerful of those crowns, because isn't he the first conqueror, like Aegon the Conqueror? My young daughter is now a trained commander, that's pretty good. Uh, armed thugs attacked me, okay, well. All is well. Uh, let's go up north and have this besieged. So far, no one has decided to go and uh, rise up in a rebellion against King Tommen. He's also 15 and he's, uh, he's fashionable. He doesn't have a wife yet. Uh, some people do want to see him dead. And his heir is Princess Anara of the Iron Throne. Which, who is she? Oh, Lady Marjorie has gotten a daughter in this scenario, so... Uh, she already married Sir Horace Redwine, apparently. Instead of Tommen. Don't do that. So, what are you actually still? Okay, there are still some people apparently in this revolt. Ah, down here. The neck and stuff. Yeah, but I'm done supporting King 
But yeah, no, I'm I'm done helping Lord Paramount Brandon. He's now also fifteen. So let's send our homes, uh, troops home. So we are losing a little bit of money here. Uh, I am unmarried, of course I am. Uh, we can not really marry anyone of interest, so. Uh, let's send our marshal to recruit soldiers. We're gonna marry our spy master here. No, I don't want to join any of your plots. No, I still don't want to join your plots. A daughter was born to Alba Royce and Daisy Mormont, named Leona. That's nice. Okay, I think this is a good point to end the episode. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed them, consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And god damn it, damn, make a claim, you freaking. <laughs> like, come on, man, it's not that hard. It's. Maybe a goddamn plot. Uh, not a plot. You know what I mean. God damn it. The plot inside a vault.